corps of engineers took to the skies today for better perspective about the possible impact in the coming days. Our Bella Caracta is on your side tonight with what they're doing to keep you safe. John Aaron, the Omaha district for the Army Corps of Engineers is made up of 1600 employees and hundreds of them are downtown monitoring the river and dozen others are elsewhere in the field surveying levees. The commander of the Omaha district spoke with six news today about the expected risk levels. Flying from Sioux City, South Dakota to Rulo, Nebraska, the U.S. Army Corps of Engineers landed in Omaha for a bit Wednesday afternoon. What we're currently doing is surveying the river to see how it's filling up the levee channel, and we're also inspecting our levees to ensure that the communities that are protected by these levees remain safe, and if there is a potential breach, that they're warned with enough time. Colonel Robert Neubauer says their assessment shows a low risk to Decatur, Blair, and the Omaha areas. At last check, there's a moderate risk in Nebraska City, Peru, and Brownsville. The impact of the last major floods of 2011 and 2019 are not forgotten at the U.S. Army Corps of Engineers. Reminders, like this paint line, which marks the 2011 water level, remain. But Colonel Neubauer believes this flood won't leave such a disaster. Quite a few levee improvements in terms of setting some of those levees back, reinforcing them with rock and other stuff. So we feel pretty confident that we have a robust system. With the crest pushed back in the week, he believes that also gives them an advantage. It's also buying the levy sponsors more time to reinforce some weak spots that, that uh, we may point, point out with our technical assistance teams. But even with some optimism, he's a realist. Anytime uh, you have the power of Mother Nature and that water pressure up against those levees, there's always that potential. After speaking with Six News, the crew took flight again to continue their surveillance. And the colonel we spoke with urges people to stay on alert for that potential he mentioned. That includes listening to the forecast, emergency management, and law enforcement. On your side in the studio, Bella Caracta, 6 News.